Hey everyone, it is Thursday, December 17th, 2020, and we are taking a look back at boxes and bullets, and we're going to call this part two. Let's go ahead and get started. So once again, these are our standards. Um, number one, right, we're, we're citing text ex explicitly from the, we're citing evidence explicitly from the text, determining the main idea, right, and then we're analyzing the detail, and then the author's point of view. So, yesterday, how many of you enjoyed the article yesterday about Among Us? Who thought the article was boring? Explain why you think it was interesting or why you think it was boring. Okay. So, use examples. What about the text was boring? What were you expecting? What were you thinking was going to be there but wasn't? Right? All those different things. So, was it a little bit dull, a little bit boring, or was it pretty interesting? So answer that question in the discussion on Schoology. And then once again, our chunk. So today we're looking at how nonfiction readers determine the main idea and supporting details. One way we're going to look at this is using the box and bullets. So I do know that a lot of you struggled with this idea about the box and bullets and, and finding the main idea. And you should you should be kind of frustrated with it because it's not easy, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at it, okay? Because once again, it was confusing. But remember these these ideas, all right? When you're creating it, okay, you have to read the chunk of text. Okay, you're not just gonna read one sentence or two and think you understand it. No, you have to read the whole text, a chunk of the whole text. After that, you think to yourself, this part is mostly about dot, dot, dot. And after that, then you find the details to support your claim. All right. So we're going to take a look at this. Okay. Um, I know a lot of you struggled with it, but we can walk through this together. So here I did the article for myself. That way you all can see how I did it in comparison to yourself. So main idea number two, right? Among Us article. The main idea of this article is to gain a large audience through the gaming platform and using that platform to propagate voting to the younger generation known as Generation Z. Okay. So um, let's take a look at my first bullet. A 2017 report from streaming platform once estimated that nearly 55% of its odd, uh, audience was between ages 18 and 34. Okay, so let's take a look at that. All right, let's take a look back at the article. Um, where is it? Right here. So Twitch is towards the gamers, live streaming, right? Here. A 2017 report from the streaming platform was once estimated at 55%, right? And so I use that, right? Because that is part of the younger generation, Generation Z. And then... Uh, Cortez's first stream was one of the most viewed on the site of all time. So, right here. Cortez's first stream was one of the most viewed on the site of all time. Okay, how does that reflect back to my main idea, right? They gained a large audience through the gaming platform, through Twitch. Okay. And lastly... Right, once again, um, uh, and using this platform, right, the gaming platform to, to promote voting to the younger generation. And so in this quote we see here, if you, if you can vote, if you are able to vote, we are here. Make sure you have your voting plan. Uh, Cortez said at the beginning of her stream. So once again, they gained a large audience, large audience, right? Um, 
uh, a lot of people for their first view using the gaming platform. Okay. First stream, which is the gaming platform, Twitch. And then lastly, they're trying to get voters, okay, to propagate voting. And I used all this information straight from the text, straight from the article, okay? And that's how I found my main idea, gain a large audience by using games to promote voting to the next generation. And all that is found right here from the quotes that I used from the article, okay? Hopefully that makes more sense. And when you do your main idea for your Adjust Right book, it'll look something like that. All right. So here is the rubric, okay? Um, once again, there is a reading part. We did that on Tuesday, okay? This is where you're actually reading for me. And then you're doing the box and bullets main idea. So let's go and read what a one looks like. Fluency of reading is not well connected and does not flow, okay? So periods and commas are not pauses. That's part of the text. Number two, fluency of reading is connected but not consistent with lots of pauses, okay? So what does that mean? Um, if we read this part, right? Fluency of um, um, re reading is connected. Con connected but not consistent with lots of periods pauses so there's an example now number three fluency of reading flows well but is but still has pauses in their reading and is starting to show emotion right so once again you're reading oh wow that was great versus oh wow that was great so showing that emotion, showing, oh, wow, that was great, right? Showing pauses in your reading. Lastly, a number four, fluency of reading flows well with little to no pauses. Reader displays different volumes of reading, right? And it's that same thing. Man, that was great versus, man, th that was great. So there should be fluency when you're reading. There should be no pauses, like, and the uh, um, the, uh, the kangaroo, the the what? The it should not be like that. Okay, it should be smooth. It should flow. You should have different volumes of reading. And for your second part, okay, the second agenda, your boxes and your bullets. If you are missing the main idea and bullet points, you will get a one. Now, if your main idea is at least present, right, some sort of main idea that can reflect um, and at least one main bullet point, you'll maybe get a two. Now, number three, the main idea is developed with at least two bullet points, okay? Your main idea doesn't have to be uh, masterful, but it should be. Uh, at least precise. Lastly, the main idea is detailed and bullet points support the main idea. Okay, so your main idea is well put together, it's well thought out. And lastly, the points, the bullet points that you're making reflect that answer of the main idea. So this is your rubric. Okay, now. For your project, you'll be working on this Thursday, the weekend, and Monday and Tuesday. So there is no excuse for you not being able to finish this. First, you need to record yourself reading your Just Right book for one minute. Please try your best to read with flow and fluency. Lastly, you need to create a box and bullets for your Just Right nonfiction. You need the main idea of your Just Right book, then find supporting details. Lastly, remember to upload all your work into Schoology. All right. Well, that just about wraps it up for our lesson today. I hope you're all doing well, and I will see you all very soon. And if I don't see you, okay, have a great break. See ya.